Hey there, folks. Hey. This is day three of the Linux Upskill Challenge. Today we're going to understand how sudo works, what is a root user, and what sudo command is used for. We're going to check our logs and two of the admin tasks we have for today. One is to change uh, the host name of our server and the time zone. Let's get into it. So yesterday we're, we were using the command for list files, the ls. We don't have anything on our home directory, but we can also can list the files of other directories. Like ls slash etc shadow. This file is where the hashed passwords of the system are kept. So this is an important file. Basically all the passwords of the systems are recorded here. And one of the things that the long list format gives us, besides the permissions that we're going to touch on this later, is the ownership of the file that is root. If you want to, to, to show this file with the command less, our permission is denied because the owner of this file is root. The root user is the user that has maximum permission. <laughs> he can do anything on the system and as a Linux sysadmin you're probably going to use that a lot. Normal users run with limited permissions so it is discouraged to users to log in with root because you can really mess it up. Big mistake. If you don't know what you're doing, you can mess it up. Even if you know what you're doing, you can mess it up. Uh, sounds like you f***ed up. So it is discouraged to log in with the root. And one comment that is used to, as you can act as the root to execute comments, is sudo. That is basically super user do something. etc shadow. Now I'm seeing the content of the file. Other comment that is not allowed to users is reboot. You see, it failed to reboot because I do not have the right permission. Permission is denied. But if I use a sudo reboot, there we go. It is rebooting. A few moments later. Okay, we're back. And to know if we really reboot it, let's use that uptime command that you already learned. It's up for less than a minute. So what is sudo? Let's use what we learned yesterday and check the manual. sudo execute a command as another user. Not only as the root, but as another user. We usually and by default go with the root. Run a command as the super user. If I want to launch the default shell for super user privileges, sudo dash i. Ah, you see that even my prompt changed. We executed the first task, that is learn how to use sudo. Let's check some logs now. Let's var log auth log so we can see who's being logging, what's the authorization. You see, this is what we did today. Session closed for user root, that will shell, and then we close the root shell. I can uh, filter that response with grep. I want to check for all the occurrences of the word sudo into the file var log out log. Task 2 completed. Let's go for the administration tasks. Change the host name, host name control ctl. That is the program that controls the system host name. To get the host name, we can use just host name. If we want to change the host name, we need to use sudo. This is an action that requires uh, root privileges. Statics and host name. This is a, a standard for uh, for AWS is the IP and the uh, and the private IP of that machine. Let's change this to here it is. The second admin task we have for today is to change the time zone. For that we use the command time and date control ctl. Time date ctl is a control 
the system time and date. I want to change the time zone, date time set zone. Actually, this requires a sudo, if I'm not mistaken. Time date ctl. Which time zone should I use? Okay, that's a lot. I'm going to use America, Sao Paulo. Set time zone. Ooh, authentication. See what happens? Now my local time is exactly as it should. So that's it folks. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow. Bye.